Good morning kids! Today we are going to be painting an advent wreath and we are going to be starting with the color of the table which will be vermilion for today and we will start by painting from the bottom uh, up to about a third of your paper. So just spread the vermilion in this area at the bottom of your paper and try to make a straight line for where, for where the table ends. Next, clean your brush very well by wetting it and then wiping it until no more color comes out. And here, we need to paint uh, using yellow the shape of the wreath and the wreath will be flat on the table and its edge will be sitting on the edge of the table here from where we're looking but just uh, look at how these are two curved lines that are meeting in the middle rather than a circle so there's a uh, one line up from the middle of the shape to the top and one line that curves downward so our wreath will be um we'll have four candles here two of them will be in the front curved line and two of them will be in the line at the back so one over here and one over here and then you will alternate the ones at the back and try to make them about the same distance from each other. Now we are going to be placing lemon yellow after cleaning our brushes. We're going to be placing lemon yellow as a glow here while our paper is still wet and just let that yellow spread out in a circle. This is not the fire yet, this is just the glow of the candlelight. Now clean your brushes once again. Now, we are going to be painting the darkness of the room using our ultramarine blue. And we are just going to get as close as possible to the light without going on top of it. But if you accidentally go over, there is a way to remove it. So, like this. So, I went over a bit on the rightmost one. But if you wet it and make the paint runny again, you can pick the color up with your brush. So try to get as close as possible and try to fill in all of the gaps in between the candles as well or under the light. So you can use your water to spread it out evenly and get into the gaps. So now I'm wetting the blue that's there on the yellow and I'm picking up all of the paint and taking it away and placing yellow again. So clean your brush well and now I'm just putting more yellow onto the wreath so that it can be wet when I put in the Prussian blue that will make the green of the wreath. And with Prussian blue I am going to be placing some leaves here. You can follow one direction mostly and then let some of the leaves go up in the bottoms of the candles and just um, Make sweeping motions, short sweeping motions, and try to follow one direction. Some of them will be going straight, some of them will be pointing up a bit and down a bit. Make it a bit messy to really look like leaves here. Just use your brush to make um, many leaves here. I mistakenly went above, um, on top of the candle that's supposed to be in front, so I had to wet it and remove the paint that was there. And now I'm continuing all around the wreath. I 
and now I'm adding more yellow on top of the blue make it a little more green so this is just according to my taste you can look at your own wreath and see whether your green needs more blue or more yellow or neither after cleaning your brush again you can enhance the candles now and I'm making clearer ends on the tips painting them with carmine red first and as you can remember in most wreaths there are three purple ones and one pink one so I'm adding ultramarine on top of three of the candles to make three purple ones and I'm leaving one red and I can add gold for the candle flame. Just try to shape the flames uh, tapered at the tip, a little fatter at the bottom. Now I'm trying to add a little bit of vermilion on the ed on the edges of the flame, but it was uh, doesn't blended enough, so I put some water in there. And I added more gold in the middle. So our flames here will be lightest at the, in the middle and a little orange at the outside. And last I'm adding lemon yellow in the very middle to let them grow. And that's our added wreath. 